FYI, I still haven't got my lanyard. I uh, still don't have my driver's license. I have no idea it is. Luckily, like no money has been taken out of my account or anything, but I, I have no so idea where my card is. flapping the pages, going back and forth because she needs to see the questions. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited you guys are watching my video. I know it's been so long since I've uploaded a video, but you know how hectic university can get. And you know, school first, that's, it is what it is. So today I'm gonna do a story time. I haven't really done a story time before, but when I watch YouTube videos, I really do enjoy a really good story time. So in this story, I'm just gonna talk about a day where I just had pure bad luck. Things just went wrong. So anyway, I'd been applying for placements and I was invited for an assessment center. And so the day before the assessment center, I go to my cousin's place, cause you know, well, I want to be early, I want to be on time, and I don't want to be rushed in the morning. So it comes the morning of the assessment centre, I'm ready, I'm doled up, I'm prepared, right? And then before I leave the house, I take a snapchat of myself wearing a lanyard. And I don't know if some of you know or have noticed, I always usually wear my lanyard, which has everything on it, my driver's licence, my debit card, my student ID, my keys, my money, everything is on that lanyard. So I'm leaving the house and I'm going to the tube station. I realise at the tube station that I don't have my card. I don't have my lanyard on. And it's really weird because I don't remember taking it off. But anyway, I'm like, okay, maybe I left it at my cousin's house, whatever. I remember taking a Snapchat in her bathroom wearing a lanyard. So I go back to my cousin's house and then I go and have a look around and I can't find it anywhere. It is nowhere to be found. I'm thinking, what's going on? Like I literally just had it. Time's running out and I need to get to the assessment center and I know I cannot be late because you can't be late to an assessment center. Like being late to a job interview or anything like that just sends off really bad vibes. So I was like, nope, there's no way I'm gonna be late. So what I did was I ordered an Uber. Luckily for me, my card details were linked to my Uber account so that was no problem, fine, done, dusted. However, the issue was in order for me to travel around London, um, I need my debit card because I don't want to be Ubering around London the whole day. I want to be able to use the tubes and the bus and stuff like that, but I don't have my card. So what I did was I downloaded contactless payment on my phone. I downloaded contactless payment on my phone and then realised that I've forgotten my card details. I can't remember my card number. I don't remember anything of it. So what I have to do is I have to call my friends to use her card details on my phone so I can use her card for contactless payment on my phone. So anyway, I arrive at the assessment center, there's loads of people there and I'm just there like, oh boy, the competition is tough. What am I doing here? I'm already feeling crappy anyway as it is, so I'm like, oh, okay. So then I calm down and you know, I kind of settle in well or whatever. As part of one of the tasks for the day at the assessment center is we have to do maths questions. We have booklets, but I have to share a booklet with another girl because there isn't enough maths booklets. The thing is, me and this girl are working at different paces because she has five minutes extra and I don't have five minutes extra. So obviously I have to work at a faster rate than she does. So we're flipping and flapping the pages, going back and forth because she needs to see the questions from the pages before, whereas I'm ahead because I need to hurry up and finish the questions. So what I end up doing is I end up, time running out, I end up guessing the last five questions anyway, hoping and praying for the best, and she doesn't even get to finish the maths questions. So I'm like, brilliant, lovely. And then we have another um, exam or test thing, and one of the questions was like, figuring out, you know, something, some maths thing in a quarter. I don't know what's in a quarter of a year, like, so I just guess and say 12 divided by 4 is 3 and just guess from there. So, oh, and then there's another task, which is the most important task of the day, which is the presentation. The presentation, I spent a good two whole days, two full days preparing for this presentation. And my laptop refuses to load the presentation. Well, it doesn't refuse to load. It just takes five minutes for the laptop to load. And this five minutes eats into my 20 minute presentation time. And I'm like, brilliant, because this is the most important task of the day. And so what I do is I remember I made notes on the different slides. And so I just 
whilst I'm waiting for the laptop to load, uh, after two minutes, I'm like, you know what? Let me just read what's in my notebook and talk to the lady in front of me to convince her I know what I'm talking about when I don't know what I'm talking about. So that happens, but I don't finish the presentation. And that's the most important part of the task to finish the presentation and come up with some sort of a deal. I didn't do that, but hey ho, that's cool. It comes to lunchtime and then that's when we find out if we made it into the next round or not. Unfortunately, I didn't make it into the next round, but I already kind of knew that was happening anyway because I just knew with all these bad things happening, it's just not meant to be, right? So I'm about to leave to go and see my friend from London. However, I forgot that I left my suitcase with the security guard. So I take someone else's suitcase that kind of looks like mine from the cloakroom, but I don't realize this until I get to my friend's house. So I get to my friend's house and I realize, oh my God, I've accidentally taken someone else's suitcase. It's not my suitcase. And so then I contact the, the reception where the assessment center was held and they're trying to contact HR, but we can't get hold of HR for a good 10 minutes. But then during that 10 minutes, the HR team are trying to contact me, but they can't contact me because I'm trying to contact them. So for 10 minutes, we're trying to contact each other, but we can't contact each other because we're contacting each other. And so that happens. And then eventually we finally, you know, talk things out and agree for me to go back and give the girl her suitcase. I'm in a rush because I have to catch a coach at half six. So I'm running and running to go to the assessment center, I have to catch a tube and walk to this assessment center. And I get there and I'm like, cool, I've got her suitcase. Please may I have my suitcase. The security guard is taking his time. So he calls the HR recruiter all the way from the top floor to come down to the bottom floor on lifts. So she comes down. I'm like, here's her suitcase. Can I have my suitcase, please? I have a coach to catch at half six. He's like, no, we need to go and get the girl who owns the back. So the HR recruiter goes all the way to the top floor, all the way to fifth floor, goes and gets the girl who owns the bag. Then they both come downstairs. Then I give her the bag and I have to sign out. So time has basically run out and I have to do some Usain Bolt in order for me to catch my coach. So I'm on my way to catch the tube to go to Victoria Station. However, I catch the tube going in the opposite direction a tube in the opposite direction can you imagine and the tube going to victoria coach station is on the other platform in which i need to catch stairs for me to catch the tube to go to victoria station so i'm like you know what i've missed that coach anyway there's no point in me trying to rush to victoria coach station because i know i'm not going to catch on time Meanwhile, I still haven't got my driver's license, my debit card, my student ID, or my keys. I have nothing on me really, apart from my phone with contactless payment, and my phone battery is also about to die. So I then just go to my friend's house and order a coach for quarter to 12 at night. So I catch the coach at quarter to 12 at night and arrive in Liverpool at 4 a.m. I also have a 9 a.m. that day, but I can't miss it because it's one of those important lectures. And the worst thing is, when I arrived in Liverpool, the surcharge for the Uber was two times the normal price. Because the time that I arrived, everyone's coming out from a student night out. So I have to pay twice the price to go home as compared to normal because I come home on a student night out. And yeah, um, that's basically my story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and FYI I still haven't got my lanyard I uh, still don't have my driver's license I have no idea it is luckily like no money has been taken out of my account or anything but I, I have no idea where my card is I can't find it anywhere I don't know where it is who knows it, but yeah thanks for watching my channel like subscribe share comment if you like story times then I'll do more story times but yeah thank you bye